Rajan told us the decision to impose a minimum import price for 177 steel products last week is a judicious move. She adds that the domestic prices will be closely monitored and interests of steel consumers will also be kept in mind. WTO measures also do uh, provide for certain emergency provisions. And in fact, the uh, Indian uh, Foreign Trade uh, Regulation Act, as well as the foreign trade policy that we have, both these which are aligned to the WTO, do provide for emergency measures to be taken. The government also has a larger responsibility towards downstream industry and consumers. And therefore, uh, we do expect, uh, they have informed us, that uh, prices will not uh, you know, rise uh, to a level where it will start hurting the Indian consumers. So we will be keeping a watch on that. Now we also spoke to Sheshagiri Rao, joint MD and Group CFO of JSW Steel earlier today. He says the omission of scrap from MIP could lead to some distortions and that the company had requested the government to include scrap also under MIP. If I see the import numbers of these products, but the scrap is close to 6 million ton, and the, all these items together, including ferro alloys, is close to 7 million ton. That is the kind of imports which are happening here. So is there a threat on account of more scrap coming into India uh, at a very low prices, and then uh, they can uh, produce uh, very low-cost low uh, steel in India, and then uh, uh, again uh, bring uh, distortions in the market? Uh, Yes, it can come in. Uh, that's why we have been requesting uh, the government even to consider uh, the scrap and uh, HBI also to be uh, included as a part of MIP. In India, demand is growing at a rate of uh, 3 to 4 percent when the uh, demand is collapsing all over the world. So that is positive as far as India is concerned. So when imports are moderating to the extent of maybe 50, 60 percent from the current levels, there is a 5 to 6 million tons of imports which are falling creating a space for the domestic players to sell more volumes in the domestic market. Uh, so taking into account the kind of volumes which uh, are there in the, current, uh, in the current conditions and also likely uh, increase in the capacities, we expect that this demand growth uh, from 3 to 4 percent should accelerate uh, in India. So in the budget, hopefully that uh, some measures will be taken to stimulate domestic demand.